Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a new one today. We're going to learn how to play uh, Iron Maiden's The Writing on the Wall. That was just released, uh, I guess, a few days ago. So uh, I've gone through it for you. There's a lot to cover here, of course. We've got lots of solos, cool acoustic intro, which I'm kind of doing with this weird kind of acoustic simulation sound instead because I'm too lazy to grab an acoustic. Uh, and, um, you know, all the riffs and everything. So we're going to cover the whole thing. Before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already and ring that notification bell so you know we'll release a new video and you can like and comment the videos, help me out with the uh, YouTube algorithm wars. Um, and if you really want to kind of support what I do here on YouTube or anywhere on the internet, uh, please join my Guitar Academy. It's the best way to support what I do. Um, you'll see a link to it in the description below. Um, so that link will give you a free seven day trial in my academy too. And the academy contains all of my guitar courses. Um, uh, none of that stuff's available on YouTube. It's, it's all my courses covering everything from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses in improvisation, ear training, theory, um, guitar tone, um, a lot of technique courses and, and all that stuff too. So a lot of cool stuff and to get into, uh, you know, personalized support from me if you need it. All right. So let's jump into this. Let's, uh, I'm in drop D. Now, we don't have the luxury of having uh, any kind of visual evidence of them playing this live, which usually kind of helps me kind of make sure I'm playing everything in the proper positions of the fretboard. So um, if you're watching this video two years down the road and they've toured it and there's a billion live videos and there's a couple of parts that I'm playing that might have the notes there, but they're played in a little bit different position or whatever, it's kind of the nature of the guitar. So. Um, just use common sense if you and, and just move it, you know, <laughs> across up five frets or and you know whatever, uh, it, and it, it'll um, it, it'll work out. So it's kind of one of those things that's impossible to do if you can't see, you know, be absolutely sure. You can get the notes pretty right, but you know where to play on the guitar. Um, it's it's kind of a, a educated guess, uh, really. So, but it's probably mostly correct. So let's let's jump in here with this intro here. I know I'm not on acoustic here, but uh, just bear with it. So I'm in drop D here. So we get the low E string tuned down to D. So we hit, we're going to hit that bottom, the low D string, and then we're going to strum across a D sus two chord. So that's just going to have all the strings open, the op six string open, the D, the A string open, the open D string. Then you have this uh, second fret there on the um, G string, third fret on the B, open high E string. And then, so what? So after you're holding this, kind of these parts of the, you're already holding there, you're gonna pick the B and G string together. And as you do that, you're gonna hammer on that third fret on the G. So we have this, and then pick that again. But this time when you pick it, you hammer on, pull off back to two, and pull off to the open G. So this. So pick it across those two strings each time. Then we play the third fret on the D string. And then the open G, two on the G now, and the open D. Two of this. And then we have this. So that right there is still kind of hold this note. So we're going to play 0, 2, 3 on the D. Then the open G string. Then back down to that third fret on the D. Then what you can do is hammer 0 to 2 on the D. Then over to 3 on the A. And when you play that 
he's really putting some heavy vibrato almost sounds like he's pulling it in and out of like kind of bending it up almost to that you really hear that so like this hit the open uh, low d string again and then shove across that d sus2 again then we kind of start the same thing that we did before all right it's just the second half of it is different here it does this so we had the same up to there is the same and that what we do is now is play zero two three on the d open g then the uh, third fret there on the b back to the open g so, And then hammer on, zero two on the uh, D. And then you're gonna end it with this, which is just a play two on the D, hammer on um, three, pull back off to two, and pull off to the open string, and then once again the open D, and then the D sus two. All right, so now that's it for the acoustic intro. And now I'm gonna jump over here um, to this distortion and when the band comes in, it looks like this. All right, so it kind of has that rhythm and then we have this. Uh... Thing that comes over it after a couple times through. So now what's going on with this riff? Uh, we're gonna start with this D power chord. So the open D, second fret on the G, third fret on the B. Then we have this. So we're gonna hammer zero to three on the A string. Then play zero, three on the D. And then you're going to hit the open G string and the third fret there on that B string. You still keep that there together. Then back to that third fret on the D. And then back to those two notes we did before. So with this. Then, then you're going to play 2 0 on the D. Over to um, third fret on the A, so go this. And then we kind of start it again. Except when you get to this part, you're only going to do that once. You're going to end it. We just do that once and do. Zero on the D, then three on the A, and then you're gonna play the D power chord, and then the open A string. So we had this all together. So don't forget that one to that A, and then it just starts everything over again. So just kind of repeat that. Then after a couple of times, we have this. So that's gonna be, once again, this could be played. Uh, you never know. So it's. So that's gonna be the uh, 14th fret there on the G. And then we have this, which is 12, 15 on the A and the D. 
So with this. Over to that 12th fret on the Gs. Then back to that 15 on the D. Then back to that 12 on the G. And then we're going to play this. 14, 12 on the D. To 15 on the A. So with this. First time through, then we start kind of start over again with that 14 on the high E. Uh, I'm gonna start on the G string, and just like here, we're just gonna go do that 15 on the D to the 12 on the G just once, and then end it with that 14, 12 on the D over to 15 on the A, and back to that 12 on the D. So all together. All right, now out of there, we come to this little descending uh, scale riff, looks like this. All right, so we're gonna, um, now obviously there's, a, a, when you deal with three guitar players, a lot of them will be playing lower like, kind of doing different voicings here, there's kind of accent. Kind of just doing the main part here for a lot of these. So and if there's like a little line over it like that, we'll, we'll cover that. But um, try not to kind of figure out, you know, okay, uh, one is voicing it here, one or here. It's one is really just all the same thing. So okay, do a lot of this with one guitar basically. So it is. All right, so that's going to be 3-2-0 on the G string, and then 3-2-0 on the D. And then play 3-0 uh, on the A. And then into the D power chord. Yeah, I like hitting that the low D in there. So Again. All right, then we have this. We're gonna. So that's gonna be the third fret of the air, the A. Open, you're gonna mute. Just kind of the open D and G, third fret on the B. And then move that note on the A string down one fret. And then back to that previous chord. Back to the D. So it is. And then, um, kind of end this section leading into the verse. Just what we did before, just go with that three, two on the A, back to the three, and then just end on that two. All right, and then we get to what to the verse. Now, this first time you hear the verse is a lot longer than the other one. And it uh, has this little, kind of when the full band kicks in there, and it plays, so the first time you hear the riff, it's played differently than it is the rest of the song. It looks like this. And then we kick into the actual verse riff. And that's really what's under the vocals the whole time. So this first time, when you first come in, the first couple of times you hear it, we're just playing this same D power chord. But you're gonna start it with the open, the open G string first. Hit those three strings. And then hammer on that second fret there on the G. And then hit that chord. Just as the just D power chord. So we have this, do that a few times. And, um, and then we have this. This is the thing that is kind of only in these first two times. Which is gonna be that zero, two, three on the D. Then the open G and that third fret there on the B together. And then 
gonna play that two zero on the D to three on the A. Just play this. Try this. Repeat that. And then the full band kicks in. And it sounds like the chord changes there when the full band kicks in and then it's just under the vocals as the vocals come in. So we have this. I kind of like thickening it up and adding that low D string in there now. It's the same thing on that D chord with that hammer on there. But then we have this. So that's going to be sort of that 0, 2, 3, but now when you hit that third fret there on the D, we're going to have the open G and the first fret there on the B. And then grab the high E string at the third fret. And then that same ending, 2, 0 on the D, the 3 on the A. So we're just All right, so that's gonna be the verse. You kind of continue the riff like that throughout the whole verse. And then we have this uh, pre-chorus, which looks like this. Into the chorus. So that's just that same kind of we did earlier to the D power chord then a B flat power chord uh, here at the first fret of the A string and then up to the C chord and then kind of start digging in on that chord now a lot of these it sounds like Having kind of sometimes a fifth in the bass on some of these chords, but um, you can opt to leave it out. Um, it sounds fine with that. Like they have so many guitar players, they can just do all these different chord voicings on these chords, and it kind of really comes together and creates a really big sound. All right, and then we have the chorus. Now, the chorus, I'm just kind of show really kind of the basic chords here. There is a some kind of guitar line going on really low in the mix, but you can hear it. It's a little bit easier here at the very end of the chorus, um, but it's one of those things where um, it, it's kind of hard to pick up, especially with uh, you know on the, with the just the official video or Spotify or whatever. But uh, so but the the main chords though to that chorus though is just that D power chord, and then. Power chord just off the third fret of the low E string, just across the third fret of the low, it's a low D obviously now, and the A string and the D. Then the C power chord off the third fret of the A string. And then this power chord two frets up from the, there's across the fifth fret there, across the uh, D string, A string, and um, D square this. Kind of just repeat those a few times, and then it goes to that B flat. And then into that C there, so kind of that's kind of the chorus. It's pretty much just that, um, it's, it's pretty simple there. But like I said, it does have that stuff going on with it, but I'm not gonna cover that. Uh, and then we go back to the main riff. The same riff that we did earlier. And then verse two, is pretty much just that uh, first regular riff done. Um, twi I'll just play through verse two. It's a little bit. It's shorter. It's a little bit different. Um, gets to the pre-chorus quicker. So it looks like this. <laughs> And 
And then it goes to the actual pre-chorus that we covered earlier. So it's just that same riff. Done twice. And then it just does that C chord we did earlier, down to the G with the B in the bass again. It's just that note just moving on the A string. Just do the, they just throw those in there real quick and go back to the verse riff again, but just play it one more time. And then we're back to the regular pre-chorus. And then back to the chorus, and then the same main riff that we did before. Um, and now we get to the solo sections. So now there's obviously some chords going on under the solo section. So I'm going to play through the whole whole solo section of the song, which kind of starts with one solo, then there's like a little octave solo, then another solo. So I'll play through all three of those real quick, uh, just the rhythm guitar parts first, and then we'll cover the actual solos after that. So it looks like this. <laughs> So we uh, it's a long section, obviously. So we're gonna start with this, uh, just these power chords across the three bottom strings. These little one finger power chords. So that's just sliding from the, the across the, you know, obviously the power chord up the fifth fret up to the seventh, and then, and then hammer on from five to seven. You basically do that a few times. Then we play three, five, and repeat. And then play ten, five, and repeat. So you basically do that whole section twice. And then we get to the... Um, where there's that part in the solo, which we'll cover in a little bit. Um, and so underneath that, we just kind of, you know, have a third guitar player, just play that, which they have. You can just put, play the D power chord. And then it goes to this B flat power chord here, off the first fret of the A, up to the C power chord, the third fret of the A. And then we have this chord. Instead of doing this, it just sounds like the C power chord with the fifth in the bass. So with this drop tuning, we have to play it like that. So that's going to be the um, um, fifth fret on the low D string, third fret there on the A, and then fifth fret there on the D. So this. B 
Let's mm. repeat that one more time, that whole section there. And then we get to the solo, I mean, the chords that happen under the, the uh, second full solo section, like the main solo section. It looks like this. It's that D chord to that C that we did before. To a B flat power chord again. And then you start kind of digging into this. And he comes up and grabs that C power chord real quick before he starts going back to repeat the chords. So it's kind of really reporting, uh, repeating those four chords four times, except the fourth time the ending's a little different. So we just kind of this D. That's this one time through, so you do it four times through, but the fourth time we're gonna put a different ending on it, like this. All right, so that's gonna be the main guitar line there at least. So that's just when we get to that B flat, instead of going really digging into it, just start crawling up the scale. We're gonna play one, so all in the A string. One, three, five, seven, eight, ten. All right, and then uh, we get to the actual solo sections now. So I'm gonna kind of play through the entire solo section first, and then I'll take it through each one and, and show you each solo um, phrase by phrase. Uh, it's a lot of notes, so hold on. So here we go. So that's kind of three complete sections uh, of solos going on there with that little middle section, which isn't really a harmony section per se. It's more of an octave section. Um, so we're going to go through all that. So this first one here uh, starts with this first. Let me turn this delay off for you. So we have this. All right, so we're gonna start here with this 13th fret there on the, the uh, B string, just real quick. Kind of a little pickup note. And then into a whole set bend at the 15th on the B. Then as you're doing that, grab that 15th fret on the high E string. Pick that high E string and then pick that note on the B string again. Release that bend down to 13 on the B over to 14 on the G. All right, from there, with this. All right, so that's gonna slide into, into the um, 17th fret there on the D, it's just real quick. And then we have this, um, um, bend at the 19th fret there on the G string. Then play 17 on B, 17 on the high E, back to 17 on the uh, B. 
into a bend at the 20th fret there on the high E string. And then kind of release that bend. And then we're going to do a, a hammer from 17 to 20, pull back off to 17. So it's kind of like, you got to do that. And then you can pull off 19 to 17 over to 20 on the B. Back to that 17 on the high E, and then into that um, 20th fret bend on the B string. All right, next phrase. All right, so this is a bend at that 15th fret there on the B string again. There's a quick 15, 13, and he slides it up to the 17, um, and then roll over to the 17 on the high E, back down to the 17 on the Bs. And then we're back to something similar that we just did. Uh, we're gonna do a bend here at the 20th fret on the high E string. And then, so we have that 20th fret bend, and then without, and then a half step bend at least the 19th fret. And then it just kind of just a quick little, you know, just kind of hammering, pulling off, over to 20 on the B, back to that 17, then into a uh, kind of a held bend there at that 20th fret on the B string. So some of these licks are always kind of, you know, they're kind of quick little legato things that are uh, a little. Kind of better just to hear and kind of emulate than try to like, okay, then release this bend a half step and then pull off and you know, all that stuff. So, all right, now the 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 last phrase of this la of this this first solo section is this. So we have a a huge bend. It's a step and a half at this 13th fret there on the B string. And then I'm gonna play 17, 16, after that bend at the 17th fret, and then play 17, 16, 15 on the B. And then play 17 on the G, slide up to 19. Then you're gonna play 17 on the B, roll over to 17 on the G to 19 on the uh, D string. And then we kind of get into some double stops. So we have the, 19, the 17th fret on the G and the, and the B if you want, but it's mostly on the 19 on the G and the B. So after you get, that, uh, get down to that 19 on the D, you go back up to that 17 on the G and then do those double stops on the 19th fret. Or kind of pull them down to four. Back to the 17, down to 19 on the D, then back 17, 19, 17 on the G to end it. All right, and then we have this uh, section where uh, I showed you the chords that are working under it before. Um, but we have one guy doing this. And then another one doing the octave. I mean, just doing a, a higher octave of that. All right, so the one down here is going to be um, uh, start with the, the uh, fifth fret there on the A. Over to the second fret there on the G. Hit that a couple times. Then play this. That's going to be 2, 3, 2 on the G. 5, 3 on the D. 5 on the A. One 
more time. <laughs> Uh, so then we do this. So that's going to be picking that fifth fret on the A again. Then go two, three, five, two, I mean, two, three, five, three, two on the D. Back down to that five on the A. So. And then we're going to play one on the A to three on the D. And then move that up two frets. So that went with that part in the, uh, the chords underneath that one. Uh, when we had that, that's what goes with it. So I had this so far. Uh, then you start just repeating it. Except for this ending now. Doing this, you can just go pull off from five to three. Or you can join that big chord in the, in the root. Like that that we did in the, um, um, uh, the, the previous part. That kind of bar. So, so I like sometimes doing that. Bar up. You can just do that if you want. So. All right. So now let's do the octave of that. Like, keep in mind, this is you know, we can't visually watch them play this yet. So these, some of these higher parts, especially, they they could be played in different positions of the fretboard, but. Uh, just use common sense to, if, and move it to a different position if you want to play the exact, if it's not the exact same spot he's playing it. It probably is the same spot, but if it's not, it's easy to move around. All right, so we have the same notes, though. So we have this. All right, so that's going to be... Uh, like I said, you you can do it like that, but I like doing it right here. So we're going to have this uh, 12 on the D over to 10 on the B string a couple times. And then play 10, 11, um, back to 10. 12, 10 on the G, 12 on the D. Let's try this. All right, and then we have this. So we had that 12 on the D, then play 9, 10, 12, 10, 9 on the G. So we just back to that 12 on the D. So we All right, now, just like with that, we're gonna do this. So we have this um, 8 on the D, 10 on the G, then 2 frets higher, 10 on the D, 12 on the G. Alright, then you got to start the thing again. Then pull off on that 12 to 10 again. And then just repeat. All right, now this goes into, I think it's a good spot from this this uh, higher uh, part, higher off. It's not a harmony, it's an octave. You kind of pull off, right? Um, and that's a good place to start the neck, the, really the second solo over here. We have this. So we get that first phrase there. So that can really come out of, right out of that all right so 
That, uh, so the starting in the solo, that first phrase, we're going to hammer 10 to 12 on the G. Uh, and then over to um, 13 on the B. And the whole step in and release. Resolve that to the 10th fret there on the G. Then we have this. So what's that? What that is? It's going to be 10, 12. So you play that 10, 12, and then a quick little uh, whole step bend and release, and then play 10, 12 again. Then play a quick hammer pull at and then uh, it's nine to 10 on the G, pull back off the nine. Quick little trill. Then play 10, 12 on the D. I'm sorry, 12, 10 on the D. And resolve it there to the uh, 12th fret on the A. So wait this. All right, and then we have this cool little descending line. Looks like this. All right, so these first notes are really heavily palm muted. And as he gets down there, you can really kind of, those little palm muted notes are kind of arpeggiating across strings. They're easier to pick up as you go. Uh, but in the beginning, uh, we had this, we had this quick little heavily palm muted 10, 12 on the A, over to 10 on the G. So the note that's on the uh, G string here is always going to be the one that's accented. And then we're going to play the 13th fret heavily palm muted on the A. And you pick that 10 again and slide down to 9. So this. And then here, before we do our arpeggio, we just hear this 10th fret heavily palm muted on the A string twice. And then you pick that 9 on the G string and slide it down to 7. So wait this. So. Now here, when you get here, you're going to start here and he's arpeggiating across all three strings. So, um, so we just slid down to the 7, right, on the G. What you're going to do now is you're going to uh, uh, hit the 8th fret on the A, and then 8th fret on the D. And then when you get to the G string, it's not palm muted. So that G string, you don't palm mute. But it's 8 across the A and the D, heavily palm mute. And then you pick 7 again, slide it down to 5. Now we're going to kind of continue that, but this time it's going to be the 7th fret on the A and the D. See, I'm kind of rolling across those two. When you get to the G, it's not muted, and you just pick that five and slide down to three. That's the way this. And then we have the fifth fret across the A and the D to three on the G, and then you're gonna slide that down to two and do some half step kind of bend and release there. So it is. All right, and then we have this really cool arpeggio section that comes in. Look we'll at this. So that's going to be across a D minor first. We're going to start with this uh, 12th fret on the D string. And then roll across 10 on the G, B, high E string. Then you're going to play 12, 13 on the high E. Then play 12, 10 twice. So that, that arpeggio was obviously palm muted. And then we're going to play uh, 
13, 11, 10 on the B. Let's play this. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing, but across a C major triangle. So we're just now playing the uh, uh, 8th fret there. I'm sorry, 10th fret there on the D. And 9th on the G. And then roll the, from the 8th fret on the B to the 8th fret on the high E string. And then it's the same pattern, just obviously different notes down the scale. Which is going to be... 10, 12 on the high E, then play 10, 8, you're going to do that twice. And then you're going to play 11, 10, 8 on the B. So. All right. And then we have this next phrase, looks like, this, looks like this. All right, so that's going to start with a bend here at the uh, 13th fret of the B string. And then we're going to play 10, 12, 13, 12, 10 on the high E string. Over to 13 on the B. Back to 10 on the high E string. And then pull off 13 to 10 on the B. And then we do kind of a standard little blues lick, which is just going to be that bend at the 12th fret on the G, roll across the 10th fret on the B and the high E, and then pull off 13 to 10 on the B. Try this. And then when you get down here, now we're to the. You just do a quick little bend and release at the 12th fret on the G. Pull off to 10. Over to 12 on the um, D string. And then you just kind of repeat that lick a few times without the bends. So. Kind of three times total. Just like that. And then play 10 on the D. And then 12 on the A. And then it really quickly goes into the next section, which looks like this. So that's going to be a bend at the uh, 13th fret on the high E string, and then to the 15th, and then up. Yeah, like that. So it's kind of a, a bend at the 15th, then a larger bend, and then back to the normal bend. And then you release that bend, pull off to 13 on the high E string. So you pull off to that 13, and then go back to the 15, then over to 15 on the B, and then back to that 13 on the high E string. Then we had this. It's kind of a cool lick. So we had this. <clears throat> so we have uh, 15 on the B, and then 14 on the G, then play 13, 15 on the B. Slide up to 18, then back down to 15. And then we have this. So that's just picking across these three notes. We're going to play 17 on the G, and then play 15, 18 on the B. Then you kind of do it again, but the second time, you're going to pick that 17 on the G, and you're going to hammer on 15, 18, pull back off to 15. So we have this. Then we have this, which is going to be 15 on the B, and then it starts bending up the 18th fret there, and then he bails out on it and goes, plays 15, 17 on the high E string. 
and then back to 15. And then a quick little bend again at the 18. Back to that, um, I'm sorry, there's a, actually, I think I missed something there. Yeah, so we, you basically go, go up like that, and then back down to 15, and then quick little bend at 18, back to that 15, and then you descend that 18, 17, 15 on the B, over to 17 on the G, and then back to 15 on the B. All right, so I might have missed that earlier. I kind of just remembered that that was there. So then we have this. All right, so after we hit, uh, we were uh, at the end of that last part, we hit this, which is just uh, 17, 14 on the G. Then 17, 15 on the D. Over to 17 on the A. All right, and then you're gonna work your way back up. You're gonna we're gonna play that 17 on the A, 15, 17 on the D. You need to pick that set, uh, 14 on the G, and then pick it again. Hammer 17, pull back off to 14. Over to 17 on the D. And back to that 14 on the G, so it is. And then we get the 17 on the G, and a couple times on that 15 on the on the uh, B string, and he kind of sustains that, and he'll add. It sounds like kind of some unison bend there. So you're holding that note. And maybe bending into the with the 17th fret there on the G into that note, and then he starts pulling up the scale. Which is just the scale first. You'll you start here the 15th fret on the B string, then play 17 to 18, then go back to the 17, and then work your way all the way up. Back to the 17, then 15, 17, 18, 20 on the high E string, bend up, then uh, 20 without the bend, then 18, 17, then 20, 18 on the B, and then the last note is going to be the 19th fret there on the G. <laughs> All right, so pretty involved solo stuff. A lot of notes, obviously, there always is with Iron Maiden. Uh, but, you know, coming out of that solo, uh, we just basically have the out chorus, which is just pretty much all I'm going to kind of cover is that, just the, you know, it's the same riff that we did. Now, there is fills and all that stuff. It's just, again, if you want to kind of, I'm not going to cover those. It's just, it will take forever. Um, we're just, it's, you just play D minor. You know, kind of do your own thing with it there. Uh, but it's just really that riff. I know there's little guitar layers going on there, but just like the previous courses, it's just kind of sticking with the main riff. And that's the same one that... Just through the end of this rack. It's just kind of an extended chorus. All right, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a it's a it's a great new track from Iron Maiden and a new album coming out soon. Of course, if you're watching this 20 years from now, it's probably been it's been out a while. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.